Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to turn off a stolen device protection without your face ID or without using your face ID. So if you have previously turned on the stolen device protection for your security, now if you want to turn it off again, but it asks for face ID and uh, if your face ID isn't working or if you do not want to use your face ID for the stolen device protection, so how you can turn it off again so uh, what you have to do you have simply watch this video completely so without wasting any time let's start the video so first of all you have to make sure that you are connected to a proper wi-fi or internet connection and the next thing you have to do is you have to simply go to settings and after that you have to simply go to general and here what you have to do you have to simply click on transfer or reset iphone so here you have to simply click on reset and you have to reset all of your network settings and after resetting all of your network setting, you have to again click on setting and this time you have to simply click on face ID and passcode. And here you have to simply provide your passcode. And after providing the passcode, you have to make sure that you have turned on all these settings. But if your face ID is turned off and you do not want to use the face ID while uh, turning off the stolen device protection, so you have to simply click on that. And as you turn off the stolen device protection, it will always use your face ID. So if you want to turn off the stolen device protection, uh, first of all, it will use your face ID. And the second thing is that if you are not at a familiar location, then it will make a security delay of one hour so that you will be able to turn off the stolen device protection. But if your uh, face ID isn't working, so you will not be able to turn off the stolen device protection. 